This is Casey O'Brien. I'm the National Cyber League Commissioner, broadcasting live from Baltimore, February 22nd, 8.02 p.m. Eastern Time. And I apologize for being a, a minute late here, a couple of minutes late, um, but uh, getting ready to go here. I'm getting ready to do this thing, which is really, I'm going to take a top 10 approach here. The top 10 reasons everyone should participate in the National Cyber League in the spring. So I want to point you to a couple resources before I officially jump into things here. I'm going to copy and paste uh, a URL here. So one place you can go to get information on the various things I'm going to talk about tonight is the nationalcyberleague.org website. So without further ado, let's get into it. Top 10 reasons everyone should participate in the National Cyber League this spring. Number 10, it's the first time we're offering a full NCL season in the spring, meaning games tied to preparatory hands-on lab exercise. We've run a full NCL season each of the past three fall semesters. Last spring, spring 2016, we, we ran what was called spring training, which was basically we made select challenges from a previous seasons, from the, um, from the fall 2015 games available. And students paid like $10 and they could go in last spring and they could work on those challenges just for just for the fun of it. Well, this this spring, we're going to be running a full NCL season, which, again, means games designed for individuals to compete on their own games designed for students to get together and form teams. So team play lab exercises available 24 seven in our virtual learning environments, the NCL gymnasiums. Uh, and we're really excited about this because it fulfills on one of the reasons we created the National Cyber League, which was we wanted to provide a training ground where students could develop knowledge and skills and then validate those knowledge and skills in both individual and team play um, year round. And we're finally fulfilling on that on that goal. So that's that's number 10. The number nine so number nine reason why everyone should participate in NCL in the spring. You get to develop knowledge and skills across a range of competencies, such as um, log file analysis, traffic analysis, password cracking. There's some cryptographic labs and challenges, um, reconnaissance, scanning, enumeration. Um, right, a whole host of challenges, and you get to develop these knowledge and skills, and you get to validate these knowledge and skills in safe environments, um, especially the offensive related types of knowledge and skill. Right, if you were to carry out some of these techniques or use some of these tools on systems that either you did not have permission to do so or they were not your own. You could, in fact, go to jail if you were caught. And so the NCL provides safe environments for you to, to develop these knowledge and skills that will increase your defensive skills and, and, and give you a broader range of knowledge and skills just for your overall tool set, if you will. Number eight, you can work on prep, preparatory lab exercises 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And the NCL gymnasiums, I mentioned previously, the NCL gyms are where we host the hands-on lab exercises and associated virtual machines with the various tools running all flavors of operating systems. We've got four NCL gymnasiums throughout the country. Um, we've got um, one in, a couple on the East Coast, actually one in the East Coast, one in the Midwest, one in Pacific Northwest, and one in California and L.A., you can sign on to any of these environments 24-7 hours a day. Um, you can schedule time, uh, four-hour chunks of time, and you can work through the labs or the tutorials at your own leisure. And you can work on these labs as many times as you want. There's no real limitations other than just a, a four-hour um, reservation period upon which when it ends, you can reserve an additional four hours if you want. 
Number seven, you can compete in games tied to these lab exercises. So one of the things that the NCL has worked really hard at over the past three or four seasons is to make sure that the preparatory lab exercises are aligned with the games. Excuse me, they are two separate environments. Um, and in subsequent Facebook Live sessions, I'll talk about how you prepare for the using the gymnasium environment versus how you prepare for the games themselves which are available in the NCL stadium, right? But suffice it to say, um, you can compete in games that are tied to these lab exercises as an individual. And Steve says, NCL is amazing. I love the games. Thank you, Steve. The games are incredible, right? I mean, I think it's really one of the one of the things that people love the most about the NCL, the, the games are um, powered by Cyber Skyline. We've worked with them the past few years. They've built this incredible simulated environment. Um, faculty and students absolutely love the challenges. Um, we've worked really hard with Sky Cyber Skyline to make sure that there are challenges for students at all different skill levels, right? So regardless if you're a noob or if you're a seasoned information security professional, you've competed in lots and lots of competitions. Um, we've worked really hard to make sure that there's challenges for, for students at all different knowledge and skill levels. And uh, it's one of the things that makes NCL great. So thanks for sharing that, Steve. Number six, you can compete in games as part of a team in what's called the postseason, right? So, and uh, this is really fun. You can work together collectively with fellow students, um, from your school, and you get to work together to solve these challenges. Um, so there was a question that just came in. Does it require any prior knowledge? It, there is a little prior knowledge, right? I mean, it does require fundamentals of networking and perhaps operating systems. Um, maybe you've done a little bit of scripting or programming, right? You certainly have to have some IT background, right? You have to have, you have to know how to, you know, navigate, um, a desktop operating system. You have to know how to, you know, create files and folders, um, right? So there is some requisite knowledge, um, right? You can't get just into information security without having some sort of a background. Perhaps it's networking. Perhaps you're a system administrator. It's operating system operating systems. Perhaps it was um, you've done programming. Or scripting, perhaps it's hardware, and you've uh, or electronics, or you've built your own PC. Those are all good starting points. Um, we do also have prep preparatory um, challenges available. If you go to nationalcyberleague.org and you click on the spring season link on the top, and I'll post this. Uh, let's see, let me post it into the. Um, Let's see, see if I can post this into, um, no, I can't because I'm showing, actually, here we go. Sorry about that. So click on the spring season link on at nationalcyberleague.org. You'll see there's a preparation link, and that's a good way to help start to develop knowledge and skills to you get a sense of the kinds of challenges that are available. Um, so number six, you can compete in games as part of a team. So number five, you get individualized reports of your performance in the games. So there's the portion of the NCL in the spring that's designed for you to compete on your own, right, without any outside help. And that's called the preseason and the regular season. Uh, and then and there are select challenges available and there are lab exercises to help you prepare for those challenges in the stadium and you compete. And then you can get together with your fellow um, classmates and form any number of teams at your school. If you want to form 50 teams, you can, right? There's no limit on the number of teams that can compete in the NCL from a school. And you can work together then to solve those challenges. Um, and after you compete in the preseason, regular season, and in the postseason, we we create what are called scouting reports. And if you go to nationalcyberleague.org and click on the scouting reports link at the top of the website, I'll also post the URL here, um, you can see what this scouting report looks like, right? It's it's a one-of-a-kind performance-based assessment. It really, really, These really don't exist in the marketplace. And what it is is it shows you – how you did across the various types of challenges, traffic analysis, log file analysis, 
crypto, password cracking, right, reconnaissance, whatever the various challenges are related to, um, we rank you versus other players at your knowledge and skill level, and you see how you did, right? If there, let's say there were 39 password cracking challenges in the regular season game where you compete by yourself, you can see um, how many, you know, how many you solved out of the 39 and what was, what, who solved the most and how quickly did they solve them, right? Um, you should check out the sample scouting report on our website, nationalcyberleague.org. Click on the scouting reports link at the top of the site. Um, these are really, really valuable for two reasons. One, again, you can see how your, what your strengths and weaknesses are and obviously then spend time focusing on, on those areas you're not as strong in. And two, you can use these scouting reports in any sort of internship job interview, right? These are third party being NCL validated knowledge and skills. And they, it's, a, it's exactly the kind of thing employers are looking for, right? There's a huge demand for information security talent net, worldwide, really. And right. And one of the things that really helps people stand out from others is this demonstration of what they actually can do in addition to what they know. Um, and so it's a great way to demonstrate that. So check out the scouting report. It's what you get is part, part of participation in the NCL. Number four, you can opt into a national recruiting program. So you do this during registration, which opens this Saturday, February 25th, and goes through March 25th. And the registration period that opens this Saturday is for that portion of the NCL spring season that's designed for individuals to compete on their own, what we call the preseason regular season. You're going to want to go to um, the spring season link on the nationalcyberleague.org website. And you're going to want to read about what, what is the preseason, what is the regular season, what is the postseason, what are brackets, what's the gym, what's the stadium, right? But um, but when we open up registration this Saturday for the preseason and the regular season, you can opt into this national recruiting program. In effect, what we do is we make your scouting reports available um, to sponsors and partners. <clears throat> and then we also make select information from your registration available, like your name and your address and the kind of resume type information, right? Um, if you, if you included a major or a program of study at your school, we make that available. Um, this is a program we've piloted exclusively the past years with Facebook and they've used this to recruit interns and employees. Um, and we're starting to open it up nationally now and with a huge demand for qualified talent, especially of the kind like the NCL, where we're, you're really validating, where we're validating your knowledge and skills. It's a win-win for everybody. So that's number four. Number four reason why everyone should participate in the NCL spring season. Number three, participating creates school pride. In fact, rivalry, rivalries are forming and continue to form. A good example is in the first pilot season we ever ran, which was spring 2012-ish, we, we had DePaul University in Illinois coming into the national championship team-based game, uh, ranked number one, number one in the country. Number two, Mount San Antonio College or Mount SAC in Los Angeles. Um, so one versus two, DePaul, four-year school, Mount Sac, two-year school. So number one versus number two, four-year versus two-year. Fantastic rivalry. Mount San Antonio College ended up besting DePaul in a bit of an upset. Um, and that's been a rivalry that's continued ever since. Um, number two, you'll learn a ton. Um, you can see here, right, quotes from different people that, have, that, are, that are commenting as I'm talking, right, um, saying things like NCL is amazing. I love the games. I, it's definitely is fun. Does not require any prior knowledge. I competed last year. A um, couple people saying I'm so nervous because I'm a new but sounded but excited. Sounds like fun. It is. We've designed the NCL really for people at all different knowledge and skill ranges. That's the point, right? The league is one of the operative work words in National Cyber League. It's a development league. And that means we have people who are brand new and very nervous, and we have people who are very experienced. And the cool thing is it doesn't really matter. You're really competing against yourself, and you're competing against others with similar knowledge and skills. That's what the preseason's all about. The preseason is a one-week 
mandatory quote unquote game. You go into the NCL stadium environment, you bring whatever knowledge and skills you have and you see how many challenges you can solve. And then we rank, we put you in one of three brackets based on how many challenges you were able to solve and the kinds of challenges. So we have challenges for people at three different bracket levels, um, it's entry level, intermediate, advanced kind of knowledge and skill. And so, you know, you know, you, there are challenges as a noob you should be able to, to complete. And then there's other ones that perhaps are above your skill level, but that's okay. Then you develop that knowledge and skill through the, through the, the lab exercises and through preparatory um, challenges we have available, have available. Others are saying, you know, this is great learning experience. Jump in and join the fun and learn. Thanks everybody for the, for the great comments. Um, and the number one top 10 reason why everybody should participate in the national cyber league in the spring is it's fun, right? Really at the end of the day, it's not about who wins. It's not about what team places first, right? It's about, it's about the NCL being able to offer engaging, entertain, entertaining, and novel ways of learning really is what it's about. And do so in a way that's challenging, that's safe, that's fun, where you can be successful, where you can be challenged, where you get feedback about how you did, and then you can use that feedback to further develop your knowledge and skills to get students in front of employers, to get employers to support the high quality of the events themselves so we continue to grow it. Um, so I, I'd be remiss if I didn't end this with a call to action, which is um, to tell your friends, your loved ones, your colleagues, your fellow students, your teachers, anybody you think that may be interested in information security, anybody, excuse me, that you know that's interested in, in tech, of any kind, uh, electronics, programming, you name it. Um, let them know about the NCL. Let them know that the registration opens this Saturday, February 25th. You're going to want to go to nationalcyberleague.org and click on the preseason link, and there's a, there'll be a registration link. And again, just to clarify, this is the registration for the preseason and regular season, which is designed for individuals to compete on their own. There is a registration fee. It's $25. Um, you can read the list of things you get for that 25 bucks. We charge a nominal fee primarily just really to, to run the event. Um, the NCL is, uh, is a nonprofit. It's a 501 C three. Uh, it's primarily volunteer run by myself and other educators throughout the country. Um, right. So none of us are getting rich on this. Um, it's primarily just to pay, um, companies to help us support this event, Cyber Skyline, some marketing communications. So, um, you know, you're supporting a good cause. Thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, if any questions, anytime you can send an email to info at national Look for future communications about upcoming Facebook live sessions and uh, get in there and have a great NCL spring season. And thanks for joining. Take care all.